your news on the go. Cuyahoga County Sheriff's deputies have now released the identity of the man killed last Friday trying to launch a small fishing boat on the Seneca River. The victim is 77-year-old Thomas Jetty of Auburn. They say his boat was hitched to his car, but they're not sure what went wrong as Jetty backed his trailer into the launch site and the vehicle went underwater. Well, at this hour in Syracuse, there's a gathering downtown, the annual luncheon for Columbus Day, and before that, the annual wreath laying at the statue at Columbus Circle. Monsignor Eugene Yenick of St. Daniel Church in Lincourt and local attorney Mike Vavanese are this year's recipients of the Thomas J. Pirro Award. They're being honored at that luncheon underway right now. John? Thanks a lot, Dan. We take a look here at Live Doppler 9. It's nice and quiet across central New York right now despite the cloud cover. Notice to the west, though, there are a few showers out near Canandaigua, Geneseo, and the southwestern part of the state. We could see one or two of these showers sneaking their way in as we go through the afternoon hours. So you're going to be out and about. Don't be surprised to see a shower or two as temperatures fall back through the 50s into the 40s as we go into, that's right, late this afternoon and this evening. Your seven-day forecast. Uh, we cleared out some tonight, get down in the 30s to low 40s, probably some patchy frost. Tomorrow looks nice with sunshine and some scattered clouds. Rain develops on Wednesday. All right, we're set for the week. Thank you, John. Sure thing. And thank you for tuning in here at noon. News and weather anytime you need it with the News Channel 9 app. If you don't have it, download it now. Just search WSYR in the App Store or Google Play. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you soon on News Channel 9.